Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Glenview at Santa Fe's fifth grade promotion ceremony, class of 2020, May 27th, 2020. I am so grateful for all of the families that are watching this promotion ceremony from the comfort and safety of your own homes. And I think you'll really enjoy seeing some pictures of our amazing graduates who we are so, so proud of.
Hello, class of 2020, Griffin graduates. Never in a million years would any of us have imagined that we would be holding your promotion from fifth grade as a pre-recorded ceremony. When I measure the things that have hurt about this pandemic and how our lives have been impacted, missing a live in-person promotion with you wonderful, amazing students is one of the hardest for me. You might not know this, but all year I have been working on this speech. All year I've been thinking about you, this class, and thinking about what kind of ideas I want you to carry forward as you move on from Glenview to middle school and beyond. In January, it started to take urgency for me. I worked with your teachers to plan an end of the year field trip to Wildcat Canyon and Tilden Park. I started to think about what other year-end celebrations we could do to honor your special position as fifth graders in our Glenview community. I even started thinking about what I would wear to promotion. And then COVID-19 and shelter in place happened and all of our expectations of what your promotion ceremony would look like were erased. That has been so hard. There's no way around that fact. It caused everyone to reflect and really know what they value. The things that we miss the most are the things that matter most to us. Shelter in place has brought into focus the values that we share and live our lives by. And it's in those things, the things that we miss and the values that we share that I can find the message that I want you to carry forward. Friendship. More than anything, I know that you have missed your friends and not just your good friends, the ones that you probably already talked to on the phone or who have maybe gone to a birthday party, but your school friends, the kids that make you laugh or that you share opinions with. Being separated from our friends and acquaintances has been really hard because human beings are social animals. We need people to survive. As you move on to middle school and beyond, don't take your relationships with your peers for granted. Pay attention to your relationships. Even the ones that don't seem too close, nurture them with kindness and respect. Strong social game is essential to your success and happiness in life. Safety. The pandemic that we are in is asking us to double down on safety. Our whole country has been asked to make sacrifices so that we can slow the spread of COVID-19 to other people. These may be people that we don't even know, but they are somebody's grandma, somebody's mother or father, friend, child. We need to change our behaviors in order to contribute to a safer world. We're asked to wear masks, to keep six feet distance between us and people outside of our household to stay away from places crowded with people. The pandemic shows us that the question of safety is not an individual question, but a collective one. When we are safe, we keep other people safe. And when other people act in safe ways, we and our loved ones are also protected. That's true even without a pandemic and a value that I hope that you carry forward. So yes, this pandemic and shelter in place has made clear to us what matters friends, hard work, safety, but more than anything, it makes crystal clear how important love is. Fifth graders of Glenview, I want you to know how much you are loved. You are loved by your families so much. Those who are with you right now and those who might call you later to congratulate you for promoting to middle school. You are loved by me, and your teachers here at Glenview. You have a unique place in history. You are the last promoting class from the Santa Fe campus, and you're also the first promoting class during a 21st century pandemic. When this is all over, you will have a story to tell. I so hope that you come back to visit me and other staff at Glenview. I wanna hear all about the great things that you will do and I hope by then to be able to give you a hug or a handshake. Congratulations, fifth grade, on promoting to middle school. 
Greetings, Glenview fifth graders and families. Congratulations on your triumphant finish to elementary school and what an adventure it has been. You have had a unique upper elementary experience from days off for wildfires, supporting your teachers on the picket line, and now on our current challenge, closing school in person and learning from home. In many conversations we've had this year, a theme always emerged. Will I be ready for middle school? I have watched you all strive to be ready. You have worked on fractions and decimals relentlessly. You have strengthened your writing skills and are able to change adult minds with the power of your words. You have read for countless minutes, helped friends and community members, solved problems, cried, laughed, and have gotten frustrated. And through it all, you are getting yourselves ready for your next steps. We all feel cheated about how our year is ending. How I wish I could be with you in person to give hugs and send you on your way but I feel more confident than ever that you are ready. The experience of learning at home has strengthened many skills you have already had and developed many more important ones that you will most certainly serve you well in your future. You know how to manage all kinds of technology. You know how to ask and receive help when you are unsure. You know how to manage your time and keep yourself motivated when everything else around you feels blue. You know how to nurture a friendship and you know when it is time to move on. You have developed patience and a keen sense of knowing when something is unjust and you know it is your duty to speak up. So off you go into the next part of your lives. You are ready and your Glenview family is always standing behind you. Congratulations to the Planbex, the Litz, and the Amsterdams. I am so very proud of you. Good morning. What a strange year it has been. In August, we thought we'd be gathered at New Old Glenview, right where many of us started in kindergarten. Hopefully, we will be able to get together there soon. In the meantime, I'm glad we have this moment to reflect. So today, I will offer you the same advice that your teachers have been offering however many years you have been at Glenview. Be safe, be respectful, be responsible, and be kind. Be safe. Remember what Kid Power taught us and be aware of yourself and others. They taught us to quote, act with awareness, calm, and respectful confidence so that people will listen to you better and bother you less. Be respectful. When I first came to Glenview, many of you were in kindergarten. I've had the privilege of watching you grow up, gain more skills, form deep and lasting friendships, break a few bones, discover new passions, and grow into young people who are ready to take on the world, or at least middle school. Remember to respect the people who are growing and learning alongside you both the young adults you are becoming and as old ones. Be responsible. This year, you challenged yourselves and took risks. Who knew we'd have to learn a whole new way to go to school in the last one third of fifth grade? You have had to find a deep reserve of perseverance and responsibility to figure out how to continue studying from the distance. These skills will serve you as you move on to the next step in your education and beyond. Be kind. Be kind to your friends, be kind to your teachers, be kind to your grown-ups, even if you're really sick of each other by now, and be kind to yourselves. Things are really hard right now and we will make many, many mistakes. When you do, apologize and allow yourselves to learn from the experience. Grow your brain. Then take some time to do something kind. You are being promoted from elementary to middle school in the middle of an international crisis. We are living through history. It may not be what we planned, but we can feel, still find joy in the celebration. Take a moment to appreciate someone 
who has helped along the way and enjoy this day together ish. Thank you. Hey, fifth grade, congratulations on finishing your amazing time at Glenview Elementary. Um, I want to thank you for being my fifth grade students. Even those, those of you that I've spoken to in the yard or in the hallway, or I've had in the past, or I've just waved to or connected to, or I've had for the whole year. Thank you. Thank you for being our great kids. I've said to kids a few times that I feel as I've gotten old, I've really connected to that there is, there is a purpose to life. As we've experienced some of these challenges, some of the young people come to me and go, what is the purpose of life? And I say, I'm not sure, but I, I've really come to see that there is one and it's a good one. And I think it's, I think it's to learn. I'm not sure it's really about learning math and literacy. Those help though. Um, it's to learn that what you really believe kind of becomes your world. Now, I know the challenge of these times is leaving some of us kind of confused and wondering what is the world, but we have to realize the nature of all things is really for things to change. We're experiencing things changing. So sometimes that uncertainty and that panic and that pain we feel is really just a shell breaking, a shell that's kind of enclosed us. So as you go on to middle school, you're not too young to really think about awakening um, the fact that you're here to learn. And the fact that, that you really need to be good to yourself, connect to yourself, and be a good person. It really helps you with your life. So as you go to middle school, you'll find yourself growing. It's the nature of life. And hopefully connecting to that meaning. You're not too young. I believe in you. I hope you come back and come visit us, Glenview teachers. We're all happy to have had you for all these years to help learn and grow. I am free, yeah, yeah, come on to me, oh, oh, love you so, but if you don't, I have to leave, oh, oh, woo, it's high, I think I want to kick off both of my sides, I can feel it boiling up in this pot, I close my don't get fed, is you hungry or not, like, brr, brr, operator, caboose, like, choo-choo, let my trainer, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God, I'm getting thicker, ain't I got them sweating in the middle of the winter, yeah. I don't get dehydrated, I moisturize. Give me that sweet tea, you think I'm playing? I need it all night, no sleep. You can get it in the kitchen if it's wetting up the sheets. Like, brr, brr, operator, you got me like, hee hee, Mike Jackson. Thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God. I'm getting thick on, and I can make you boil up, baby, let it simmer. Yeah. But